Like, like honestly, what is going on? Send help. <laughs> Hello, my bookworms. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see what I will be reading this month in October and play my spin the bottle TBR game. So hey, what's up, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me for a little bit. Let's play the game, shall we? The first thing we do when we play this game is we check to see how I did last month, because if I completed my Spin the Bottle TBR, then I get to pick a reward out of my reward mug. The first spin we got last month was read a book from an author you've read from before, which was actually kind of perfect for that month, because one of the reading vlogs I put out was giving authors a second chance, and I read from authors where I have previously read books from them, which I did not like, and I was giving them a second chance to see if they could be redeemed in my eyes or if maybe they're an author that just doesn't work for me. And the book that I chose for that prompt is The Crane Husband by Kelly Barnhill. I'll put the link to that vlog down below in the description because I had so much fun in that one. The second prompt we got was an Avi pick. So if you remember, then Avi picked Old Enough by Haley Jacobson and I realized... <laughs> In that video, I think I said Haley Jacobson. I just, Jacob, like I was adding letters where there wasn't. So it's Haley Jacobson. So sorry, <laughs> but I did read this one. Third prompt was a secret space, which obviously was the second chance author vlog. And I just chose Stephen King, Billy Summers for this one because that was the secret vlog that was going on. The fourth prompt was a tarot space and I got the world card and it was read a high fantasy book. And I had previously said that I was going to read A Time of Dread by John Gwynn, which I still really, really want to read. I was really excited about it. I still am really, excited about it. I'm going to keep it here to see if maybe I could get it on the TBR this month, but if I don't, then it is what it is because I ended up picking up the Throne of Glass series. I actually did finish this book today so I can get rid of my bookmark. And I did ask on my Instagram, I was like, do you guys consider Throne of Glass high fantasy? And the overwhelming response was yes. So I can count this for this prompt. I want to try to get through this whole series before the third Crescent City book comes out. And Throne of Glass is a reread. I got up to Era Fire like two years ago and then got distracted and didn't continue, but I was really enjoying it. So I am now rereading so that I will remember everything that's going on. I went ahead and listened to Throne of Glass this month and I have started Crown of Midnight already, but this one works for the high fantasy prompt. The fifth spin for last month was a mood read pick. And whenever I land on mood read, I typically pick the buddy read pick that is for my book club. And last month it was The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. Did finish this and did put out an exclusive little chatty vlog for it for my Patreon. So that being said, I did complete last month's TBR and I can pick a reward out of this reward mug. There's really not too many left in here. <laughs> I just had to look back at last month's game because it felt wrong that I have so many prompts saved up, but apparently we have four reward prompts already saved up. So that's why it feels like there's nothing in this mug because there's really only three or four other options. <laughs> so maybe I'll use one this month, but okay, we have four saved up from previous months. Maybe I should change the rules because it used to be a lot harder for me to complete my spin the bottle TBR, but now I've changed the rules this year and it's been really fun. I've been really enjoying reading. <laughs> <laughs> but I think in the new year, I'm gonna have to change the rules a little bit and we'll figure that out then. But right now we're just gonna keep vibing and I'm gonna choose uh, the fifth reward prompt that we will have saved up. And this one is a book club or buddy read pick. So if I get a prompt that I am not stoked about, then I can swap it out and use this reward prompt, which might really come in handy this month because there is another book club that I'm a part of on top of my, my known. <laughs> Also, very quickly, November is NaNoWriMo, which I do plan on participating in this year, like fully, hopefully. <laughs> and that being said, I plan on using October to kind of finish the outline of the book that I had started in Camp NaNo, which if you're watching this and you say, you're supposed to start a new project for NaNoWriMo, like this is my new project. I didn't even start writing the story in Camp NaNo. I just started outlining it. So I wanna finish my outline so that I can actually start writing it in November. You know what I'm saying? It might be girl math, but it makes sense. And that's what I'm doing. But that being said, you might see a familiar little pie go over the plus one spin space on the board. And if I land on that space, then I will, instead of choosing a book for that spin, will be allowing myself to have a blank space and spend the time that I would spend on reading a book for outlining my story because the space is called story time. So that's what that means. But we'll see if I even land on it, right? <laughs> but the plan is to finish outlining my story this month in October so that I can actually start writing in November. So I want to try to give myself time to do so. You know what I'm saying? So with all of these reward prompts in hand, let us get going for spin number one, which is my Patreon only spin. For 
for spin number one, we got read a book with blue on the cover. And this one, I'm going to choose my buddy read pick for my book club and my Patreon. It is an absolute chunker and I'm really excited to read it alongside my patrons and do an exclusive reading vlog for it. And it is our share of night. I've wanted to read this for so long and I'm really excited that it won this month. I've heard really good things about this story and I genuinely just think I'm really going to enjoy it. It says a woman's mysterious death puts her husband and son on a collision course with her demonic family. It is a family story, a ghost story, and a story of the occult and the supernatural, a book about the complexities of love and longing with queer subplots and themes. A couple of my friends have read this and they said that certain scenes in this story lives rent free in their mind and was actually very troubling. And that is a positive review if I've ever heard one. Definitely makes me excited to pick it up. So let's mix and mingle all the prompts and go on to book number two. we got read a book with a flower on the cover. Surface level, it's a very easy prompt. Is it a prompt that I want to do right now? I have no idea. I am so excited to have bookshelves soon so that I can actually see what all of my options are. It's very difficult. I don't know if you understand. <laughs> Very difficult to just have stacks of books all over your house and half of my books are still in moving boxes from when we moved a year ago. Because why would I unpack them if I don't have a place to put them yet? You know, I don't know. So it's very hard for me to actually know what all of my options are. Okay, one of the options for this that I could do is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. It's been the talk of the town. People have been really loving this book and there are definitely flowers on it, right? I think those are flowers. Are they not flowers? <laughs> And I think that it is a very fall autumnal book. I've seen it on a lot of fall book recommendation videos, but I do know that it's also the start of a series. And I don't know if I emotionally want to start another series when I already want to start that John Gwynn one on top of restarting the Throne of Glass series. So I don't know if I want to do this right now emotionally, but who knows, I might. That's an option. And then I saw the cover of The Stranger Upstairs by Lisa and Matlin, which, okay, those look like flowers. Like I know they're sort of hazy and unclear, but that looks like distinctly like a flower. Some of these really, really do. Am I hallucinating? Let me know in the comments if you think that this could work for this prompt, because if not, maybe I'll just use the reward prompt that I got today, which is book club or buddy read, because this is Gabby's book club pick for the book troupe, and I am actually a guest host on that, alongside Meg from Meg with Books, and I'm really, really excited to talk about this book with them. So if you don't think that this works, fine. <laughs> But I think this is going to be my official pick because these look like flowers to me. It's a flower. I can practically smell it. That's what I'll do. Oh, let me tell you what it's about. <laughs> This story is about our main character, Sarah, who is a therapist and self-help writer who just bought a very old house in the community of her dreams. Turns out you can get a killer deal on a house where someone was murdered. Plus, renovating this haunted house is making for great blog content with a potent distraction from her failing marriage. Good thing nobody knows that Sarah's past is as tainted as the blood stain on her bedroom floor. There are a series of bizarre accidents, threatening notes, and unexplained footsteps in the attic only confirms for Sarah what the rest of the town already knows. Something is very wrong with this house. If you know me, you know I love a good haunted house story. So when Gabby asked if I wanted to be part of her book club for this book in particular, I was super excited and I can't wait to read it this month and discuss with them. Now let's go on to spin number three. <laughs> So for spin number three, we got a Twitter poll pick, which we don't use Twitter anymore. That is an outdated prompt, <laughs> but I will do a poll on Instagram. And I think I'm going to choose these four books as the options. Enchanted to Meet You by Meg Cabot, The Secret History by Donna Tartt, Mr. Magic by Kirsten White, as well as Just Another Missing Person by Gillian Jillian McAllister. So I will put a poll for these four books on my Instagram. And by the time that this video is filmed, edited, posted, I'll put the little result right here. So this is the book that I'll be reading. I'm excited about whatever it is. I hope I love it. And that being said, we can go on to spin number four. Spin number four 
is exciting, but it gives me very little control. It is roll a die and whatever number it lands on, I have to read a book with a page count that starts with that number. So I don't have a dice handy, but I do have a dice rolling app. <laughs> We're gonna roll it and see what, four. Hmm, I could do 40 something, but I don't have a book that short. So it's going to have to be like 400 and something, which is a really solid sized book. I'm not mad about that. I could choose Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass, but I already started this today and I'm already over a hundred pages in. So that doesn't really work, I guess. Oh geez. None of the books I have here as options work with this number. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, A Time of Dread works with John Gwynn. And I know I just said that I wanted to try to get this on the TBR and this totally does work. So I really could do that. But now I'm worried about starting a new series. Um, Red, White and Royal Blue is 400 pages. I had a movie night with my patrons and they all said that I should watch the movie before I read it. So I could read this one and I could do a complete 180 and choose The Hollow Kind by Andy Davidson, which is a very scary book from what I hear. And maybe October is when I should pick this up. So this is an option but so are these. And if you don't know, I changed my TBR game so that I just have to fulfill the prompt. I no longer have to lock in an answer. So one of these three might get read for this. As long as the book starts with four in the page count, then it'll count for this prompt. But these are options. And I do really wanna be back in a John Gwynn world. So I still might pick this. I'm very indecisive right now. I'm panicking. This is the best you're getting. So in the meantime, let's go on to spin number five. Spin number five, we got a secret space again, which is very exciting. And it's going to be a secret for both of us because I am doing another secret TBR vlog for this month, but I don't even know what the books are yet. So I'm going to be choosing a book for that video for this prompt. And the book is in this box, unopened. I don't know what's in here, but I'm going to be choosing a book from this box for this prompt. So I'm nervous. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. But okay, so that is the end of the game. I do want to kind of tell you about other books that I want to read as well as do the greenhouse compendium pick. So first of all, for last month in my book club, the pick was Family Lore by Elizabeth Acevedo, which I started recently and I'm nervous about it now, but I will be reading this in the beginning part of October so that it is fresh for the book club chat. Literally every other book that I've mentioned for potentials for other prompts I might get to this month. Obviously on top of the poll pick that is currently going on, A Cosmology of Monsters by Sean Hamill has been speaking to me recently. I know that a lot of people don't like this book, but I had started it and got like a hundred pages in. I think, and I was really enjoying it. And I would like to start it over and actually read it this month, if I could. I keep forgetting about the other books that are in that box that I don't know about for the secret TBR because I, I can't see them. So I have to remember that there are three other books that I will actually have to read for that one secret vlog video. And also The Beast You Are by Paul Tremblay. This is a collection of horror short stories and I'd like to read it. Also, in case you were wondering, this month's book club pick in my Patreon book club is Rouge by Mona Awad and I'm so excited. I could have picked this for the flower prompt, but again, I typically won't read the current month's book club pick until the next month in the very beginning, like I just said, so that it's fresh for the book club for me since I'm hosting it. But yes, if you want to read this book alongside the best bookworms in the world, the link to the greenhouse, which is my Patreon, is always linked down below. We would love to have you. And of course, I plan on finishing Crown of Midnight and possibly going into Air of Fire next month as well. Next month, I mean this month. <laughs> I have books literally everywhere and I feel very scattered. I really hope that this video makes sense. There are just so many things that I need to finish and read. Like I still am finishing Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. Schwab, which I just, I don't want it to end. That's why I haven't finished it yet. I'm loving every single page of this book and I don't want it to end. So I plan on finishing this as well. Like, like honestly, what is going on? Send help. <laughs> Caleb is getting home from work right now, but right now we are going to pick my greenhouse compendium pick of the month, which is a collection of book suggestions and recommendations for my patrons. And we are going to go ahead and really hope for a small one. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and it is, oh my God, it's not small. It's Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Chapeco. Let me go grab it. It fits really well for spooky season, but this is a lot. And you know what's really annoying? This book almost fit for 400 pages, but it's actually 503. So that's really obnoxious. But this book is Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Chapeco. I think that it is a trilogy, a duology. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's just a duology, but please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So I know for a fact that many of my patrons have told me that I would enjoy this book and I know multiple of them have recommended it to me. So now they're they're getting it. They're, I'm, I, I'll be reading it. 
I am nervous for my TBR this month. Actually quite scared. Don't think about it, just repress, repress. This book, Silver Under Nightfall, is about our main character, Remy, an elite bounty hunter of rogue vampires and an outcast among his fellow reapers. His mother was the subject of gossip even before she eloped with a vampire, giving rise to the rumors that Remy is a half vampire himself. When a terrifying new breed of vampire is sighted outside the city, Remy prepares to investigate alone, but then he encounters the shockingly warm-hearted vampire heiress, Zayden Song, and her infuriatingly arrogant fiance, a vampire lord, Zayden, who may hold the key to defeating the creatures, though Remy knows associating with them won't do his reputation any favors. Remy develops a fond and complicated feelings for the couple. He begins to question what he holds true about vampires, as well as the story behind his own family legacy. As the rot continues to spread across the kingdom, Remy must decide where his loyalties lie. With his father and the kingdom, he's been trained to defend, or with the vampires who might just be the death of him. So I know that this book has some queer polyamory romance going on, and I've heard that the atmosphere is really good. I have not read from Rin Chapeco yet, but it looks like I will this month. <laughs> I'm excited. I was really hoping for a short book, but it's fine. Everything's going to be great. <laughs> so that is the end of the video. Those are all the books that I want to, plan to, hope to read. If you're excited to see what I end up reading, so am I. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me for a little bit. If you are still watching and don't know what to say, leave your favorite fall time spooky emoji down below in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I always appreciate your support. And of course, be kind to one another and happy reading. Bye.